Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. Woo! This is some exciting news for the channel. So now all future videos will be filmed in 4K. I've done stuff where I've been filming in 2.7K, but then when I'm doing my video editing, it's the 1080. And going that we're into 2021 right now and thinking of the future, because I look back. I was an original dealer for GoPro when GoPro first came out. I did my first order of GoPro like a hundred, I think it was 80, it was 80 or $90,000 worth of cameras. <laughs> it was like boxes and boxes and boxes. And we were on the ground level when GoPro came out. And it's funny how GoPro was gone where they were taking two AAA lithium batteries, uh, standard definition, and then now we're, you know, I'm filming right now, actually, my Osmo action, and then I got the new GoPro Hero 9. And it's crazy where technology has gone uh, and in what to the future is. And uh, I look back at some of my stuff where, you know, it was only standard, def standard definition. It was not options. And looking back, you got to kind of think of the future 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now, and whatever is going to be existing then. Uh, it's, you know, if you have the technology, take advantage of it. It does make life harder when you film in 4K of editing and memory and all that. It just, it, you won't, cause usually what I do is I film stuff and then I'm like two to three weeks out almost all the time on videos. Once you go into 4K, <laughs> you know, we'll have to be exporting stuff off these uh, micro SD cards a lot more are going to run out of memory really fast but looking at my two videos back how much crisper it is on the ocean with 4k it is just because it like for example if you're out there and you're filming in 4k let's say we see a shark or a dolphin or something it's farther away and you zoom in well when you're filming in like 1080 the more you zoom in, it's as blurry and blurry that when you're 4K, if you have the zoom in, it's a lot more clear. And just seeing, and then, well, let me get this explaining for people too, because some people be like, well, I don't even watch it in 4K. Well, when you, a lot of people don't realize when you're watching a video, for example, I think on your phone, it's an auto. So it matters, again, how much data, if you're on a, your, your own network or you're on your phone network or you're watching on your TV, or you're watching on your computer. All those, you have options to be watching where it is. So even though a video will say it's 4K, if you don't have 4K, you can still watch it. It'll convert it to whatever your phone or your device you're watching on will be. And I have majority, almost all the TVs in my house are all 4K. Uh, everything I have is 4K. So I figured it's time to step it up a notch because as much as I love editing my videos, I actually love watching my videos too. I actually watch every single video I do and uh, I always get an enjoyment of watching, you know, if it's with the Kawasaki SXR 1500 stand-up videos, just where you can like read and see what happened and learn you, as much as you're learning writing, you can learn a lot re-watching the videos. And I just think it's the right move to do now being in the 2021 it just makes it really long to edit a video. Like, I think that one where it was in the ocean, I thought it was gonna be up and like four hours later it was up just because it took that much more longer than normal. But I like to get do where I'm thinking about other people, what they wanna see. And I think I had a lot of compliments where people really liked the 4K and I like to have a crisp. Like, for example, I think the GoPro Hero 9 is the best GoPro ever made. I had the GoPro Hero 8 and the picture was nice, but the sound was terrible. Uh, the sound was like, as soon as the GoPro got wet, it sounded like it was muffled. Tons of people complaining about it. And I was like, there was nothing I could do. And then I bought the new one, hoping that they fixed the problem, not even knowing because it was never talked about in any GoPro videos. Sure enough, it was fixed and the video was even more crisper. I actually might be thinking about selling my uh, Osmo Action I'm filming right now and picking up another GoPro to do that. Cause I kind of have like one, this one's in a whole rig with an external mic, like a big a big camera. Like I have a, a Canon 80D, super wide lens. And I actually stopped using that as much. It's just because of uh, some of these new, like the Osmo Action or the new GoPro have, increase so much that it's actually, I personally think 
it's filming better than using those. And then plus two, my Canon 80D only films in 1080. I don't think it films in 4K. I have to check. I'm pretty positive it doesn't film in 4K. So that'd be going backwards. If that's the case, I might actually be selling my Canon 80D. Uh, even though it's a really nice rig, but uh, just moving to what stuff works for the future. Uh, I have so much stuff with that too. But anyways, yeah, so I just figured the 4K, it's the future. Step up, we're in 2021. No more filming in 1080. And uh, and it just, it'll make my life harder, but I love challenges. And I think it just, I'd rather look back 10 years, like 10, 20 years from now and be like, oh yeah, I'm so glad I filmed that in 4K. Cause probably they'll be like, who knows what kind of K version is gonna be in the future. I mean, it's kind of when you look at the new video game systems, um, like I got the Xbox One X, then they had the new one, I think it's the Xbox Series X, right? Well, reality is, is both uh, my 4K TV will look exactly the same. Maybe one will perform a little better, but the video will look the same unless you invest buying an 8K TV. And if you go look at the prices of 8K TVs, they're super expensive. I mean, now you can get a really nice 4K TV for not a lot of money. That's where I find a little funny. Um, I know like a lot of people, even when I have my past uh, Xbox, how much more that new Xbox that I got a couple of years, well, it'd be, what, three years ago? Yeah, three years ago, how much that made a difference playing with that. So that's kind of where I'm just thinking with this whole thing of video editing. And I actually think I was like the spare moment of the moment at that ride. I'm like, we're filming this in 4K and there's modes of how much you can zoom in and out. And I think the video was like normal. So that's where I, most of it was chopped. And when I was editing, I'm like, oh man, I just, it was such a spare of the moment, like switching that setting. I'm like, let's do it. <laughs> And I'm like, and now it's, uh, cause the picture changes in the size. It just makes 4, 4k is a little bit more complicated editing. That's basically let me get it to where it's at. It's like rendering the video before editing takes twice as longer, but I have the computer that's uh, set to do that. So it's, it's time to put the computer to work. And I hope you guys enjoy with the future of all videos will be 4k, but if you do not have a 4k, device, you can still watch it in standard definition, 1080, 720. It automatically works to whatever it is. So it gives a wider variety. Figure to do a video explaining this because a lot of people aren't aware of that. I'm really excited because it just that, that video of like, when you see the, the sunset, it just looks so much cooler. I love riding right when the sun sets because the colors are just, oh man, it's like since forever me doing photography and stuff. I've always liked taking like car photos right when the sun sets because the, the paint always looks cooler. I just, the ocean, the colors, everything looks cooler. And even too, when the water kicks up, it's just such an ideal time to be filming. Midday, I just, it stuff just gets too bright, I think. Hope you guys enjoy with the future of the channel and we're gonna be changing it up. It's not like always gonna be jet skis. We're gonna be doing the new things, you know, filming with the drone. I got a whole nother video what I'm talking about recently, what just happened in Myrtle Beach. Thus why I got the Phantom 4 version two drone for the channel. We got the dog videos. We got the, the lizard, the geckos, uh, my two toke geckos. It's a male and a female. I think they've been breeding because it's, they make this like uh, sound that says, toke, toke, that's how they got their name. I've been hearing that a lot. <laughs> that male is calling out <laughs> to the female toke geckos. So there might be baby geckos soon. They might have like eggs legged in there and who knows? So uh, I got two male and a female leopard geckos, which we'll see what happens with that. And, and uh, possibly becoming a, a, a gecko breeder. And then I got, well, I haven't even filmed either. I got a new, Lichianus gecko, a GT one, GTX. So it comes to the main island and it's a female and it's around the same age as my other male lychee gecko is, but it's a lot bigger, like, <laughs> like three times the size. Uh, the GTs are like the huge ones. And I just recently got that. I haven't even filmed any videos chilling with it. I got this cool setup in my office for that tank. And uh, hey, we're just gonna have a bunch of cool stuff talking about um, cryptocurrency, 
that's gonna be some of my new ventures. I'm gonna just keep myself busy. I've been doing the TikTok, and if you haven't followed me on TikTok, it's I am underscore Baywolf. You got uh, Instagram where I post stuff on there. That's Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. Obviously subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell notification, get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Hit, hit the like button. Obviously that's an important thing. Then we got the Amazon store, which cool stuff is on there. Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Then check out the I am Beowulf merch too at I am Beowulf.com. I got a bunch of all the RXPX and the RXTX merch marked down really low. And once it's gone, it's gone kind of thing. So hurry and jump on that while supplies last. Woo! A lot of exciting stuff. Hopefully it starts warming up. Finally, the time is staying later, but it's like it, out here in South Carolina, we don't have any snow, but the weather is just like, we're getting lots of rain and I'm hoping to get out riding soon. There's definitely some stuff that this GP 1800R needs before going riding again. Um, so get some down time of getting this all set up so it's ready to ride. And uh, definitely this thing, if you haven't seen some of the new videos, it's awesome. Make sure you guys watch all the videos too. Really appreciate it. And like I said, hit that like button and definitely gonna be having a lot of cool stuff going on. Be driven to win and remember, be mighty and stay strong.